Title, North Korea's Missile Madness, Chill, Folks, We're Not Toast Yet. T-L-D-R. Uncle Sam waves his finger at North Korea's latest fireworks show, a ballistic missile launch. But fear not, the US military doesn't think we're immediate toast. They're asking North Korea to kindly put a lid on the pyrotechnics, please. You know, can you not? Move, the United States gave North Korea a stern boo for their latest ballistic missile launch. But what's that? No immediate threat. Phew, at least that's what Uncle Sam's own military gurus seem to think. So what gives, North Korea? We know you've got the rocket's red glare, but maybe it's time to tone it down a notch. America's got its own problems, like trying to remember if we took the pizza out of the oven. Now, the US is appealing to Pyongyang's better angels, if any can be found, to refrain from these destabilizing actions. Is it just us or does this kind of sound like a parent telling their kid not to play with fireworks? Because they might just end up burning the house down? Or, you know, causing an international incident? Interestingly, amid all the hubbub, no word of imminent danger or panic button smashing. It seems we can all still plan our vacations without adding a missile-proof bunker to our Airbnb search filters. However, it's still a tad unsettling. After all, it's not every day your eccentric neighbor launches a missile into the great blue yonder. Raises a few eyebrows, to say the least. Let's be real, the world is a pretty chaotic place as it is. Between environmental issues, economies teetering on the brink, and the enduring mystery of where all the missing socks go, maybe, just maybe, we could do without the added drama of rogue missile launches. Just a thought. Before we wrap up, here's the obligatory no fun legal stuff, courtesy of the folks in suits, this article doesn't offer any type of advice or recommendations. Especially with missiles and stuff, we're as clueless as you. It's just news, folks. Time to throw the mic over to you guys. How does North Korea's rocket party affect the global political climate? Will it be the catalyst that finally nudges everyone to join hands and sing Kumbaya? Or is it more likely to escalate tensions further, leading to more sternly worded statements and, fingers crossed it doesn't come to this, potential sanctions or worse? Drop your thoughts below.